This short video will cover instructions for setup, use and maintenance of the Apprehend Spray Application Kit. First, let's take a look at each of the individual components of the kit. This is the portable mini compressor which provides the air to the spray gun. The red button is the on-off switch. It is important to ensure that the air pressure adjustment knob is fully closed. Your unit will have been supplied with this valve in the shut position. If the compressor is used with the pressure valve open, the spray pattern will be inadequate and will result in poor coverage, so check this from time to time. The bottom port in this photograph is the air outlet. This will be connected to the gun by a coiled air hose. This image shows the lithium iron battery pack connected to the compressor. Be sure to follow the enclosed instructions when using the wall charger. Your Apprehend spray gun kit comes with three options for powering your compressor. The battery should be routinely charged using the wall charger. The car charger can be used to add battery life between jobs. Finally, the kit also comes with a plug-in power supply, which enables you to connect the compressor directly to the wall. While this option is less convenient than running the compressor with the battery, it provides a good fallback option if your battery has completely discharged. If you find that this occurs too frequently, additional batteries can be ordered from canidiatech.com. This is the air supply cord, which is fitted to the air supply valve on the compressor and the air inlet valve on the spray gun. Always ensure that the air hose fitting is tightly sealed at both ends. This will ensure that the compressor auto power off function operates correctly. If you find that the compressor runs intermittently when the spray gun trigger is not depressed, this is indicative of an air leak. If this happens, check the fittings at both ends to ensure that they are tight. If this does not address the problem, it may be necessary to use Teflon tape around the screw threads at both ends of the hose connections to ensure an airtight fit. Finally, this is the spray gun. The air supply hose is connected to the air inlet valve at the bottom of the handle. The spray bottle has a screw fitment and is easily removed for filling with Apprehend. The bottle, or cartridge, holds approximately three fluid ounces of Apprehend. Fill the bottle to just below the shoulder Overfilling can result in formulation and leaking out of a small air bleed hole above the bottle. You should also try to keep the gun upright to prevent this from leaking. Load everything that you need for a bed bug application into the holster. There are two holster options available, the waist pouch and the shoulder pouch. Make sure you select your preferred holster option when you submit your order. Before filling the spray bottle, it's essential that you shake the bottle of Apprehend well to ensure that all the spores are fully suspended in the formulation. This must be done every time you fill the spray bottle because the spores settle out quickly. Filling the spray bottle without shaking the Apprehend bottle first will result in a very low number of spores in the suspension. To ensure full suspension in the formulation, invert the bottle of Apprehend and shake the bottle upside down it's good to agitate the sprayer from time to time to ensure the spores in the spray gun bottle have not settled out during your job. When applying Apprehend, always ensure that you keep the spray gun pointed directly at the surface to be sprayed. Spraying at an angle will reduce the efficacy of the application and could result in poor coverage of the target area. Try not to pivot your wrist as you apply the spray barrier, but move with your arm as you spray across the surface. The next series of video clips will demonstrate correct spray technique and show the effects of incorrect spray technique on the spray barrier produced. We're using cardboard because the spray barrier is clearly visible on this surface immediately after application. Hold the spray gun about 3 to 4 inches from the surface to be treated and apply at a speed of approximately 3 seconds per 2 foot making a continuous 2 inch wide swath barrier of apprehend. Let's take a look at that again. If the spray gun is moved too slowly across the target surface, the oil formulation may start to drip. On some surfaces, depending on the lighting conditions, the spray drips may also be visible even after the spray has dried. Applying the product too slowly will consume more product than necessary and result in higher costs of application. 
Moving the spray gun across the target surface too quickly will result in a spray barrier that has gaps or fewer spores overall. This can reduce the efficacy of apprehend as bed bugs crossing the barrier will pick up fewer spores. If the spray gun is held too close to the surface to be sprayed, the spray barrier will be narrow and the oil formulation may start to drip. This narrow spray pattern results in dense areas of spores, but excess formulation running as drips from the spray barrier will be less effective than a consistent 2 inch width barrier. If the gun is held too far away from the surface to be sprayed, the spray droplet deposition will be sparse and result in areas where bed bugs can move across the spray barrier without acquiring sufficient spores to achieve good control. Variation in the distance will result in areas of heavy deposition and areas of sparse deposition. There will always be some variation in the spray pattern as a result of speed and distance, but practice will result in the most consistent and accurate application for optimal bed bug control. Try to keep the spray application as straight and direct as possible. Vertical movements of the gun will produce a wavy line which will result in the use of more product than necessary. Remember to maintain the gun position so that it is perpendicular to the surface to be sprayed. Avoid using a sweeping action as this will result in poor coverage in areas where the spray nozzle is not pointed directly towards the surface. Always try to provide a continuous spray barrier, moving the spray gun along the chosen line at a steady and even speed. If it's necessary to stop the spray gun to adjust your position, always try to continue the spray line where you left off to avoid untreated areas where bed bugs could pass. Let's just remind ourselves of the optimal spray application. Hold the spray gun about 3 to 4 inches from the surface to be treated and apply at a speed of approximately 3 seconds per 2 foot, making a continuous 2 inch wide swath. Let's see that one more time and remember, practice makes perfect. Finally, at the end of each job, remove the spray gun bottle and return the remaining formulation to the apprehend bottle. And to clear the nozzle at the end of the job, turn on the compressor, block the nozzle with a gloved finger and press the spray trigger. This will remove any remaining formulation from the inside of the nozzle and reversing the flow of the product from the nozzle back to the bottle. Doing this at the end of every job will prevent blockages occurring due to the collection of spores inside the spray mechanism. At the end of the day, clear the nozzle and wipe out the spray bottle with paper towel before putting away the spray kit. Never run water or detergent through the spray gun. If blockages occur, Running half an ounce of 70% rubbing alcohol through the system should th clean things out nicely. Alternatively, a paper clip, if you unravel it, can be poked down the hole at the end of the nozzle and this will clear any large blockages should they occur. That concludes our training module on setup, use and maintenance of the Apprehend spray gun.